Welcome back to my Lemmings United level solving commentary. Um, so it apparently seems that um, Ichu has decided to start covering the third rank, the tension rank. And so because of that, um, I will do the same. And so today uh, we, we are going to cover, or rather this video will cover the first 10 levels of tension. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But uh, let me make a, uh, or announce a special note here in that um, in the past uh, week or so, a new version of Neolemix was released, uh, version 12.10.0. However, for consistency, I'm just going to keep recording the rest of the videos for this pack on version 12.9.4 at the player. Um, just like I said, just to be consistent. And also, um, this is also the version where I solved the entire pack, even though I have confirmed that all my replays still work in the new Neolemix player version. But uh, but again, just to like keep everything looking the same and everything, I'm just going to do the remaining videos of the um, series with version 12.9.4. Okay, now that I've set my piece with that, uh, let's go ahead and dive into the tension rank. So we are starting off with tension one, foul. So as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and search for my replay here. There it is. Okay. So, at the very start, we have several uh, pre-placed blockers. And um, at the start, uh, we, have, we start with one bomber to remove one of the blockers. So, for the rest of the blockers to remove them, we will need to navigate the level and pick up these bomber pickup skills. Okay, so I first start by bombing the um, top left lemming. So clearly, um, I will start in this area first for the solution. Okay, then I start building up to the left. Uh, what do I do? Okay, and then I mine with this lemming. And then I platform to the right uh, on top of this um, builder bridge. Okay, this will allow us to go up this area and into this area to get the bomber pickup. Okay, and then I mine in such a way that I also go to the um, builder bridge so that they have a so that the lemmings have a way to go to the right later on towards the exit. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter that I also cut a path to the left as well, because I already have some lemmings trapped down here uh, from mining earlier. Okay, and then with the bomber pickup that I just picked up, I bombed this blocker. So now I have access to this area here. So now we're just going to build up to get to this bomber pickup. So I start by building to the right. And then another bridge to the right. Okay, and... In the meantime, or rather earlier, I started mining toward the left to get this bomb pickup. So it appears that I'm working simultaneously in um, a couple of areas. Okay, and then I build a bridge to the left. And then another builder bridge to the left. And then one final builder bridge to the right. And then we have access to the pickup skill. Okay, and then in the meantime, I start mining through this bridge so that I carve a path out. But at the same time, this is the bridge that needs to be carved out. Yeah, so now they can walk to the left. And then with the bomber pickup that I just picked up, I bomb this blocker. And then bash to the left to meet this crowd. Uh, I should start building to the right soon. There we go. And then build to the left. One final bridge to the right. And then finally all that's left to do is to, is to bomb this blocker that I picked up with this bomber pickup. 
Okay, and that's it. Now the lemmings can go into the exit. Okay, so that's a pretty short and small and, and somewhat easy level. Um, it can still be tricky though. Uh, just navigating through the terrain to get the bomb pickups as well as to um, carve out a path so that the lemmings can still walk to the either to the left or right. Alrighty, next one. Tension two, death of death of a clown. And here we are under a time limit of three minutes and three seconds. Uh, this was one of the levels that I um, found a back route to, which got patched up. And so there should be two replays in here. Yeah, as you can see, so the second replay is what we want. Let's go. Okay, so we, there's a pre-play slamming that low starts with, and we have a pretty high release rate. Okay. So, with the third and the fifth lemming in the crowd, I stacked the two bridges on top of each other. And then I blocked with the first lemming to turn the crowd back. Okay, and then with the first time that uh, almost reaches these bridges, I bomb him in such a way so that it creates this bomb hole, making this pit that's deep enough along with the rising, rising height of the bridges to prevent the lemmings from coming up to the left. And then for the pre-play slamming, I assign him a floater, of course, because this is flat height. Okay, so for the time being, this pre-play slamming will be doing the work. So, of course, we bridge to the left. This will require two builders. And also, the second builder needs to reach in such a way that the crowd that walks over here can land on this bridge and walk to the right. Okay, and then start bashing towards the exit, uh, right here. And then, I should be mining out the blocker sometime soon. Yes, and I start with use this lemming, and I do it in such a way so that the entire crowd turns around. So that only the miner is um, going to the right. Because he's doing, he needs some time to bridge this gap before the crowd arrives. Okay, and this will require two bridges as well to reach the other side. Okay, now all that's left to do is to build one final bridge to the exit with this pre-placed lemming. Okay, and that's it. Pretty similar to the uh, previous level, in that um, it's somewhat um, easy, but at the same time, it can also be a little difficult. Um, especially with this uh, two builder wall and bomber trick that's required at the beginning. Alrighty, next one. Tension 3, my little Lemagachi. CT. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so just by looking at this low, you can see that there are a lot of pickup skills everywhere. So pretty much the goal here is for this lemming down here to pick up these pickup skills so that the top lemming can use them to uh, keep going in the, in the level. So the first pickup skill that's picked up is a basher, which we give to the top lemming. And then we dig down so that he can get this builder pickup, which the top lemming will use to build out of this um, thing. Okay, give him a floater, because this is flat height, I believe. Yeah, just flat height. Okay, he will proceed to pick up these pickups. So it's a minor and a basher pickup. Then, oh no, he'll, he'll land safely. Okay, so I proceed to bash with the bottom lemming here. Then, for the top lemming, um, I give him the minor. Ok, 
Okay, at the bottom of the mirror, we'll proceed to pick up these uh, two platform pickups, which he will use to platform across this gap. And then the other platform will be used for the top lemmy to bridge across this water gap. Okay, in the meantime, the bottom line will pick up the uh, digger pickups as well as the platformer. Okay, he proceeds to platform across this gap, and then in the process, he'll turn turn around. The top line will pick up the um, floater pickup. I proceed to dig in such a way so that he is able to climb out later um, to the right. And on. Okay, so I dig down with this lemming up here and I also give him a floater. Okay, he will proceed to um, pick up this uh, climber pickup and I assign the climber to him. Okay, so he's now turning back to the left and he'll proceed to pick up uh, these builder pickups. And let me see. Oh, but before I do that, I dig in such a way that he is able to climb out to the right. Uh, while doing this, he'll just be stuck in an endless loop and he won't be able to get out. And quite frankly, it is quite difficult to for me to tell the difference between the builder and the platform pickup. Uh, in some tile sets, they really appear to be the same, but I think it was especially prominent in the um, old formats, Neo Lemmix. I think the newer versions is not as problematic. So here, build a bridge to the left, and then after he turns around, uh, build a bridge to the right. And we're going to build in such a way that he doesn't turn around. Okay, he picks up this um, pickup, and what was that one? It was a builder pickup, okay. And of course, use a builder batch to bridge this gap. Okay, he proceeds to pick up the batch pickup, and he also bridged across this gap. But he needs to build in such a way that he turns back around, so that he can bash through this one-way wall. And as you can see, there is a walker pickup skill visible in inside the wall. And finally, um, after the basher is done, we assign him a walker so he turns back to the right. And now both lemmings can go to the exit. Okay, so all those pickups that are around in the low, it could definitely make it look like a um, um, like an overwhelming level, but it's really not that difficult. You just simply have to assign the skills as you pick them up to the right lemming so that they both proceed to the um, further in the level. Okay, tension four, coming round the mountain. So since we're a T now, I have to score quite far to get to the right replay. Okay, so with the first enemy walking to the right, I stack for a bit. And then after a while, I um, clone him. Part of the uh, left stack will be used uh, as a platform uh, for the worker lemming so that he can uh, proceed further in the level. Okay, so I proceed to um, assign the lemming that slips past the stack a climber. Okay, and in the meantime, the crowd is perfectly contained in here, so they're not in any, any danger. So this allows the worker to slip by the stack to do the rest of the work for the level. Okay, so with this gap, we're gonna go platform across. Okay, he'll proceed to climb up. So interesting thing about these clouds, yeah, for quite a while, I thought these were um, background, but really they actually turn out to be solid terrain, as you can see when you turn on CPM. Okay, this light shade of gray indicates that it's solid terrain, while the dark shade of gray indicates that it's steel, which means it is indestructible and cannot be used um, with destructive skills to destroy them. So it's pretty interesting, as I believe in other tile sets, clouds are actually background and not 
um, solid terrain like they are here. I'm not sure if it's true with the um, Highland Tribe in Lemmings 2 though. I wonder if someone can confirm that for me. And if I had to guess, I would say that they are just because uh, for consistency. It doesn't really make sense to make a solid terrain in one uh, platform while it's not in the other. At least to me, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so once he gets here, he proceeds to bash to the left. Time skip this, it's been doing quite well. Okay, and then of course, platform across this gap. Okay, and then this structure that's right here, he'll be, he'll be used to uh, for him to get up. Okay, and then I'll proceed to dig down here. And then once he reaches near the bottom, I will start bashing to the right to release the crowd. Okay, now all there's left to do is to dig through this uh, platform um, bridge. Okay, and we do it in such a way so that um, all the lemmings can turn to the right. You don't want to dig uh, while you're over here because some lemmings will step by and go to the left instead. And then what that will cause is that they'll be stuck in an endless loop. Yep, okay, so the crowd will proceed to the exit. While this worker lemming, uh, actually, where is he? I believe he already went splat. Yeah, he already went splat. So right here is the splat height where he dies. And that is our casualty that we can afford in this level. Alrighty, next one. Tension 5. Belly flop. Let's go! This level, I would say, was a pretty nice one. Um, it was somewhat difficult for me, but that's um, that was up until I figured out the trick that's required here. So with the first lemming that reaches here, we bash to the right. Okay, and with the first lemming that turns back to the left, I stack. And then the other lemming that's coming back to the left, he will platform. Oh, and actually, I, it, I did it in such a way that he is able to keep going across the entire way. Okay, and in the meantime, two lemmings from the left will slip by. Okay, so these will be our three worker lemmings. Okay, so I make the third and the... I mean, the first and the third one swimmers, while the second one platforms across. Okay, this stack has contained the crowd, so they are fine for, for the time being. Then one more platformer bridge to get across the water gap. Okay, and then with one of the lemmings, I start stacking. And while the stack is in progress, this allows two lemmings to get by. So it just barely allowed the second lemming to get by, but it was enough. Okay, and then with the first lemming, I bash to the right so that um, it turns the other lemming around who will proceed to mine out the, this lemming as well as the crowd later on when we release them. Okay, and then one blast platformer bridge to get to the exit. Okay, and I believe I start stacking when these lemmings exit. No, not quite. So here is where this trick is required. So we stack uh, underneath this platform bridge so that the lemmings can um, um, step up while it also interrupts the stacker since it hits the platform bri uh, brick. Yeah, creating a staircase that the lemmings can step up like this. Although I guess technically any other position could work as well. Yeah, since here it should be possible for the lemmings to step out from either direction. So it doesn't necessarily have to be next to the um, uh, full stack. And that's it. So again, uh, this level can be difficult, especially um, if you haven't seen this trick, which I certainly haven't and didn't realize for quite a while. But once I 
realized that this was needed, then um, the level was a little bit easier. It's still difficult due to this trick that's required here as well, stacking in such a way that only two numbers get by. Okay, tension six, the inspiration of a garden. This I would say was a pretty nice level. I really like this one. Um, it's not too difficult, but at the same time, it's not easy either. It's definitely not trivial. Okay, so with the first time we walk into the riot, I make him a climber, and then I platform across this water gap, and I do it in such a way so that he turns around. So in other words, I assign the platform just at the very extreme edge to ensure that he turns around. Any other position will um, cause him to um, bridge the gap at the right moment so that he doesn't turn around. And then after he climbs this wall, he proceeds the bash to the left. It's a pretty long bash section, so I'm going to time skip that. And then I clone him. And I also give him a glider before I clone so that I have a glider going to the right. This glider that's proceeding to go to the left, um, he will be our casualty. Okay, so now this glider is in this area. So I proceed to bash right here. So just below the uh, top of the ramp. This will allow him to go all the way across to the uh, one-way wall. Okay, and then of course we proceed to platform across this gap. Okay, so with this, um, it requires four platform bridges. Okay, and then he'll turn back to the left. Because there's also one bridge, uh, one gap that we need to um, seal off with a builder. Time skip this so we can see it um, in a much sooner uh, time. Okay, and we also build in such a way that he turns back to the right as well. Because there are still some other gaps that we need to um, seal off. Okay, so this water gap right here, this requires three platformer um, bridges. So that will use up all our platformers. Alright, so now he's done, so now I go ahead and send another climber from the crowd. Okay, and then in the meantime, I release the crowd after the climber has gone some distance. So basically, to enough of of a time to give him a lead to prepare the rest of the gaps. Okay, so I dig before the frog, dig before the frog trap, and then finally all that's left to do is to mine up the crowd to the right. And that's it. Now the lemmings can use these platformer bridges, as well as this bridge right here to get to the exit. So once again, like I said, very very nice level. Uh, it's not hard, but at the same time not trivial either. Next level. Tension 7. Death by Crevice. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, this was one of Itchel's uh, contest entries. But um, I was pretty much not around at the time of that contest, and so uh, when I was playing through the United Pack, this was the very first time I saw this level. But even then, um, I always figure out levels on my own first before watching Solutions. So with the second landing, I assign him a walker. You see, to stone soon, I believe. Or maybe I stone when he's falling. Oh no, no, no! So I assigned a glider to the first landing, walking to the right. Okay. So with landing behind the glider, I stone him so that it turns back the crowd. Okay. So this walk. Uh, this lemmy that uh, is walking to the left, he proceeds to pick up the um, uh, pickups, which were a platformer, as well as the dispenser. And that's just the stone that you heard up there. Okay, so he'll proceed to platform across this gap. Okay, and then while this glider is over here, I clone him so that this glider can reach this area and pick up this pickup. It's another platformer. And then this one is a fencing pickup. 
Okay, I proceed to platform across. Okay, the other the others will be able to drop down safely. And now that the um, gap is sealed, they'll be able to uh, turn back to the right. Uh, what was that pickup? Oh, it's the uh, fencer. Right? No, it's a platform pickup. Okay, so everybody will be continuing down here. While this worker, Lemming, will do the rest of the work. So I fence up with him, and then I platform across. And I believe one platformer is just enough for him to reach the other side. Yes, just barely though, but it's enough. And then he proceeds to pick up for his uh, platform and pick up. And then I platform up here. And he does it in such a way that there's just a one pixel gap. Okay, and then almost immediately, yeah, after turning around, I clone this lemming. So I got the lemmings here quite tight. Okay, so I proceed to fence with the lemming behind him, and then with this lemming going back to the left, I platform across. Okay, so it does it in such a way that the fencer is able to cut off a part of this uh, platform bridge. Okay, he'll proceed to um, pick up this pickup skill and walk to the exit. Okay, and then we need another uh, platform bridge in order to reach this area. And then immediately before he turns around, I fence up. And then finally, all that's left to do is to platform to the right. So that I can meet this fencer tunnel. And then we'll use this uh, gap in the platform bridge to be able to get to the exit. And that's it. So here I ended up with a um, glider left over. And as HO has uh, mentioned to me, um, there are um, other vari variations of the solutions. Probably some of them are a lot easier than the way I did mine though. In particular, this part right here was pretty uh, tight. With the way I had the lemmings so close to each other. Alrighty, next one. Tension 8. The spice must flow. Okay, this novel I found to be quite easy. I didn't think it was that hard at all. Okay, so I proceed to dig with the third lemming, okay, which allows two lemmings coming back to the left to walk out of this digger pit, and then everyone else will be contained. And then once the pit is low enough, I start bashing to the right. In the meantime, I assign the two lemmings walking to the left, swimmers. Okay, and then the, the basher will hit the one-way wall in such a way that at least this step right here, which will be, which will prove quite useful later on. Okay, with the first lemming that reaches this wall, uh, mine. Okay, this allows the, the other swimmer to be able to use this um, uh, water pit to get to the top. And then in the meantime, the miner will use this water gap at the bottom. Uh, water gap, water pit. Okay, and then a lot of it, this is just walking, so time skip some of this. Oh, so in the meantime, I also assigned the top lemming a glider. Okay, so that he gets past the trap. And then he'll proceed to bash uh, the one way wall. Okay, and then I allow the two lemmings to uh, kind of huddle close to each other uh, before I bash to the left. So now they're covered in such a way that only one lemming gets killed by the trap. And then the other one will step by unharmed. Like so. Okay. And also, it has to be in such a way so that the uh, non glider is still ahead and gets killed by the trap. Yeah, we would need the glider to survive because otherwise there's no way to get across this gap. And we cannot use the builder to do so since we need a one final bridge uh, to the exit. Okay. And this protruding piece right here will cause the builder to turn around. He will proceed to bash the uh, crowd out. Okay, so this step right here that we made at the beginning, this allows the lemmings to step up. Okay, because the ceiling, fortunately, is thin enough to allow the lemmings to step up. Without that extra step, the lemmings wouldn't be able to step up without um, ceiling. 
So it's important that the extra step at the beginning was made. Okay, and that's it for that level. Again, like I said, I thought it was a pretty easy level. I didn't think it was hard. Okay, next level. Tension 9. Hello, space boy. Okay, this was a level that had uh, a couple of background fixes. And so here you can see three replays. The third replay is what we want here. Let's go. Okay, and just want to look at this level. It's a very, very huge and tall level. Okay, and due to the fact that I have the high quality minimap um, enabled, it slows down the um, speed of the load considerably, so that even fast forward doesn't really help. Okay, so with a lemming from each side, I stone. And then I proceed to platform across to the right. And then do the same thing with the lemming from the right entrance. And when I'm with the second lemming from the left entrance, I give him a walker so that he turns around. It just allows the uh, platformers enough time to uh, seal the gap completely so that no one falls and splats. Okay, so now we have two separate groups, one in the left here and one in the right. So I assign a climber from each group. Okay, so these two climbers will proceed to do the rest of the work. And in the meantime, the crowd is completely contained with these walls. And as you can also see in this level as well, it is completely symmetri symmetrical. Okay, so these climbers will proceed to use these um, teleporters. Okay, and if I zoom out a little bit, they will, yeah, this teleporter led to this receiver, or well, this teleporter will lead to this receiver. Okay, so I proceed to clone this lemming right here. Okay, he will proceed to platform to the left, and then I do the same thing here. Clone this um, lemming, this climber. Okay, he will also proceed to platform across. Okay, so this, this will allow the lemmings to fall down while spatting. Okay, so in the meantime, these climbers are safe for the time being. While these clone lemmings, yeah, uh, would do some work to help them. So I clone this lemming. So I should say clone this clone. Or it might have been the original, but uh, in any case, it doesn't really matter. So I do the same thing here, clone. Okay, go proceed to platform across, so to reach this um, area. And do the same thing here, to reach this area. Yeah, so as you can see, fast forward is just barely much faster. Okay, and then with this timing, proceed to uh, platform across. And the same thing here. Since these uh, are climbers, this will allow the platformers enough time so that the, um, these climbers will fall into the uh, platformers. Okay, and these are walker traps, so we need to platform across them. So because the level is symmetrical, it's pretty much imitating the exact same thing on both sides. Okay, so pretty much what you do on one side, you have to do the other. So pretty similar to solving equations in mathematics. And you can pretty much think of it as a balance scale. Okay, so this timing is going to teleporter. And where is the receiver? Oh, right here. So this teleporter leads to this receiver. And then similarly, this teleporter will lead to this receiver. So they stay on the, on the same side this time. Rather than switch like they did at the beginning. Okay, and then we proceed to platform across. And then a platformer from each side is enough to uh, bridge the uh, gaps. And then I proceed to uh, clone this lemming. And then same thing here. Again, like I said, what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, and we need to bash against the slope high enough so that it reaches the other side as we cannot uh, afford to spend a, a platform to see the gap. 
In, in the meantime, the other uh, clones will um, drop into these pits and be safely contained for the time being. Bash across here. And also bash across here as well. Okay, platform across. And also platform across. Okay, which will be used to catch these lemmings that are trapped in here. Okay, so as you can see from the mini map, I still have the crowd contained up here. Oh, actually, no, these are climbers, right? Yeah, those are climbers. Yeah, I still have the cloud chopped up there. So I haven't released them yet. Okay, so after these platformers, um, we're going to let these uh, climbers drop down here to where the exit area and to where the exit is. Okay, platform across this gap. And then same thing here. Platform across this gap. Okay. Then I start releasing the others. So let's see where I start. I start right here. Bash them up. Bash both crowds out. Let's see what else did I do. Okay, I also bash someone out. Oh, I bash him out. Okay, and I also bash this crowd out on this side. Okay, and then I bash these two out. And I also bash these two out. And then finally, all that's left to do on both sides is, is a basher each. One here and one here. Okay, now that that's done, everyone can walk to the exit. Whoops, <laughs> I meant to zoom back in. Yep, so it's gonna be a long while, so I'm just gonna time skip all that. Okay, and that's it. So, pretty large load that looks very daunting, but it's really not that difficult at all. Probably a little time consuming just due to the fact that I had the high quality minimap enabled. Um, if I didn't, then the fast forward would definitely help uh, speed through the uh, long waits. But it doesn't really matter since I, most of the time, I end up using the um, 10 second skip. Alrighty, and then the last level for this video, Tension 10. A little drawback. So while playing this level, I thought this was a drawback to one of uh, Itcho's Lemmings Reunion levels. Um, and that drawback is referring to the um, sports, bar, sports bar level. Mostly because it uses the exact same trick with the climber in delaying. Well, here I believe I don't use it, but um, still, the level title was referring to that level. Okay, so I immediately max out the release rate at the start. And then with the third to last lemming, I bash out. So that three lemmings go ahead. So with two of them, I assign gliders to, while the other one will platform across. And then with the first glider that reaches the wall, I bomb so that the other glider has a place to land. Okay, and then he'll proceed to bash to the right. And then build up. So one builder bridge is not enough to get to the other side. However, he is a glider, so he'll be able to reach the other side, while the others will just fall down and be contained in this pit. And then I also give the glider a climber. And since he's a glider, he'll be able to reach the other side. Okay, and then I start mining. Okay, here's, here's the steel wall while leaving some wall to the right so that no one walks into the water. And then we'll proceed to build up. And then he's a glider so he can reach the other side. And then also since he's a glider, he'll hit the steel block and turn back to the left. Okay, bash. Okay, build a bridge so that it catches the crowd uh, coming from the top. 
Okay, and then at this time I start bashing to, uh, to the right to release the crowd. And then finally, all that's left to do is one final bridge to get up, and so they can get to the exit. And in regards to this level, uh, this was definitely one of the um, harder levels, but that was because it took me quite a while to um, realize this trick here of um, sending gliders and then bombing one of them. Um, and until I saw this, I kept um, incorrectly getting the lemmings to go over the top rather than use this um, terrain down here. But once you realize that, then the rest of the low can be. Um, the rest of the low is a little easier. Um, but um, as usual with many of these lows, um, even after the difficult parts are figured out, uh, some of the lows are still not like um, cakewalks. Alrighty, so that was 10 lows, and so that will be it for this video. And so the next time I'll be covering tension 11 through 20. So I hope you enjoyed this video at the um, Lemmings United uh, Low Solving Commentary, and I'll see you all for the next one.